time for another Power BI challenge. And this one is gonna be on how to build custom KPI cards. And it's quite a tricky one because you will have to combine different topics. For example, how to build spark lines, how to apply conditional formatting, and how to override a date slicer. Curious? Let's start Power BI challenge number 10. Welcome to How to Power BI. My name is Bas, and if this is the very first time of you visiting this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on all of our challenges and how-to videos. Now, let's have a look at this challenge of today. Now, you're going to build this report over here, which shows the analytics for a marketing campaign that was run on Facebook. Now, as always, let's first have a look at our data model and the data itself. So the data model is very simple. We just have the Facebook marketing data in one table, and then we have also a custom dem date table over here. All right, now let's then also have a look at the data itself. So for this Facebook marketing data, we have, for example, the campaign ID, the ads, we have more information on what the target group was, so age, gender, but also what were they interested in. Now, then we have information on the impressions, the clicks, and then also how many inquiries we got from those clicks and how many purchases we got in the end from those inquiries. Now, with that data, you have to build the following report page. Now, at the top, you see we have the title header, then we have the slices, so for campaign, the dates, the interest code, and the ad. And then we have our KPI cards. Now, the first one is for the click-through rate. So what percentage of the people that saw our ad actually clicked on it? And then we have the clicks to inquiry, so the percentage of people that inquired after they clicked on it. Then right next to that one, we have the inquiries to purchase conversion. So what was the percentage of the people that purchased from those that inquired? And then at the bottom, we have a funnel chart, we have a ribbon chart, and we have a stacked bar chart. Now, the focus for you will be on the custom KPI cards. Now, what you will start off with is this over here. So I already did a little bit of the work and I already created some of the measures, some of the visuals. So if we have a look at our metrics table over here, so you see we have a main folder for the clicks, inquiries, impressions, purchases, and then separate folders for the click-through rate, where you always have then the click-through rate and the click-through rate for the previous month. And the same for clicks to inquiry and inquiry to purchase. Now you will have to build these custom cards step by step. So first of all, you need the KPI itself. So for the first card, that's gonna be the click-through rate. Then you need to show an icon right next to your KPI that shows an upward arrow. If the current month value is higher than the previous month value or a downward pointing arrow if it was lower. Now after that, of course, you need a title because we need to know what the KPI is and a nice frame around it. Let's also apply some conditional formatting so that we show our icon and value either in red or in green. So green if the value this month was higher than the previous month and red otherwise. Now to put that number into further context, we can also add some text right below it with the value of the previous month. And another thing that we can do is to show a spark line in the background that shows the development of the previous months. Now what is important for that spark line is that it only goes up to the selected month. Now at the moment I have September selected, but when I change the month to let's say November, you see that we now have two extra data points to our spark line. This part is quite tricky and you will need to make some changes in your data model and do some tax magic to get this one to work. I hope that you're excited about the challenge and want to participate. Of course, if you have any questions or want feedback, just let me know in the comment section below. All of the details about this challenge you can also find in the description section below, as well as the data and the Power BI file itself. Now, if you do the challenge, then I would also highly appreciate it if you could give it a rating from one to 10, 10 being the most difficult. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the solution video.